I never thought uh, that I'd have to say this, but congratulations to all 50 states for surviving the weekend. <laughs> for the last several months, of course, the country's been gripped with fear over a possible nuclear attack by North Korea. So imagine the people of Hawaii waking up on Saturday morning to an alert on their phone saying, ballistic missile threat inbound to Hawaii, seek immediate shelter, this is not a drill. That has got to be the worst thing to wake up to on your phone next to realizing you drunk texted your girlfriend's mom to send nudes. <laughs> kind of cool about it. Just question marks. Just question marks. Just question marks. Nah. Very cool of her. <laughs> now, the alert had everyone in Hawaii dropping some poi in their board shorts <laughs> uh, when it went out because an employee at the Hawaii Emergency Management Agency accidentally selected missile alert instead of test missile alert in the drop-down menu of the alert system software. A drop-down menu? Well, of course this happened. Just look at this thing. Missile alert. Test missile alert. Not an unmissile alert. Non-ballistic missile not coming. And, of course, dressing on the side. <laughs> it turns out that the only fail-safe is a second screen asking, are you sure you want to do this? Honestly, that message should just pop up every time you open the internet. Are you sure you want to do this? <laughs> Nothing good happens here. <laughs> the agency in question also announced that the employee in question was reassigned. <laughs> no! You keep him in that job! He's the one person on the planet who will never, ever make that mistake again. <laughs> he knows! It's the same reason I always go to the surgeon who just got sued for leaving a sponge inside someone. <laughs> He's on his toes now. <laughs> Worst of all, once the alert went out, it took 38 minutes to send out another alert saying, false alarm. 38 minutes? That's enough time to have end-of-the-world sex, <laughs> then await death for 35 minutes. So, uh... uh <laughs> Uh, uh. Do you think there's a heaven? Uh... <laughs> According to officials, the reason it took so long to correct this mistake is because the state had no automated process to get the word out that it was a false alarm. Well, why don't you just press the button that says, this is just a drill? <laughs> Go on TV. Try skywriting. It's not that hard. Within minutes after the initial panic, Hawaii Congresswoman Tulsi Gabbard tweeted debunking the threat, marking the first time in history Twitter was used to calm people down. <laughs> Do you know who's weirdly silent about this on Twitter? Who's that? Donald Trump. Mm. And this was made for him. It's literally fake news. <laughs> yeah! Also... The, it's actual. Also, also, I gotta say, sad. <laughs> but he finally got around to addressing the situation yesterday. Well, that was a state thing, but we're going to now get involved with them. Which has prompted this message to be blasted around Hawaii. Alert people of Hawaii, Donald Trump wants to get involved. Seek shelter. This is not a drill. <laughs> we'll be right back. Thanks for watching my YouTube video. Now it's your turn to thank me. Click subscribe. And at the end of the next video, I'll thank you again.